welcome to a new episode we're out bow hunting again chasing goats but this time got the recurve something I'm not very good at had a few practice shots on the target before and they were all right but I'm gonna limit myself to like 10 to 15 yards or I'm not gonna take the shot because I don't want to wound anything anyways we might not even get one this trip because yeah this isn't my number one weapon of choice so I'm just gonna go for a walk over a couple of these hills and just see what I can bump into not expecting a whole lot but well, we could see some goats from camp along these hills but they're way way down there on the next hill so I'm gonna head that way but hopefully I'll bump into some others that we couldn't see whilst I'm heading over there I walked all the way up there between that hill around this hill come back this way I've seen a handful of goats but they're way out in the open way 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 out so I've come back around I haven't seen anything out here I'm gonna go over this little rock here and hopefully we'll see one down in this gully you never know. Might have a couple of hours left of light, maybe two hours. But that's alright. We'll see how we go anyways. Well, done a big lap of the hill. Barely seen any goats, but you've got to be careful out here because there's some dangerous animals that can see their tracks. You've got to watch out for uh, velociraptors out here. Look at that. That's some Jurassic Park shit. Yeah, gotta watch your back. They'll get ya. Worse heaps worse than drop bears. maybe a hundred yards away a little bit of cover so hopefully we'll get in well 10 yards 15 yards maybe I'll give it a go there is shit loads of goats around here heaps not really anything in the way of big billies but there's a lot of young young stuff there's the perfect one right there just needs to come over here there's so many goats I'm going to have a count of what I can see I know there's three in there one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, ten there's over 40 goats here <laughs> that nanny there in the tree is a perfect size. Some more coming over the hill, there's another three on top of the hill now. It's well over, I'd say there's probably 50 goats here. Just no big billies though. It's one billy that would might go 30, maybe. That's it. There is so many goats here. Like the m darker it gets, the more they just pop out of nowhere. There's a lone nanny just over here. Just walking this way. And there's a couple of little billies playing over there. 
probably harassing a nanny or something like they do there's literally goats like everywhere you look there's a nice size one this trad bow business is hard if I had my compound I would have, shot. I would have been done ready easy I'm closing the gap Might be 35 yards. Here comes some billy goats as well. If one of them comes in range, I'll take that for my dog. <laughs> Can you see that there's a goat in a tree? <laughs> That's so good. Got that one. And there we have it. Trad bow. Just the young Billy. Be good for the dog. We'll give him a minute and we'll go get him. Looked like a reasonably good hit, so he's not going to go far. You just need a bit of patience. Probably, yeah, two hours ago when I was on the hill. I was 95% sure <clears throat> that I wasn't going to get a shot off with this bow today. That's because this isn't my weapon of choice. I can use it. Within the last week there's been like an inch of rain out here. So nothing has to water. Everything's spread out. So I was just walking around before with a bow in my hand. Just bush walking. But I'm alright with that. I got a shot off at a billy just before. I'm gonna go get him in a sec. He's only gone what 50 yards, not even that. 40 yards. Yeah. Good little challenge sitting up next to those goats. About 30 yards for buddy. I don't know how long. Half an hour? Maybe more. Anyways, I'm gonna go get this goat. I just went and got my arrow, and here's what we got left. This looks like a pretty good hit to me. Alright, we'll go get him now. Well, I'm at the goat now. Here's that shot. Quartering away a little bit. Just a young Billy. There's more goats, there's goats everywhere. Oh, there you go. Trad bow. Even I can do it. But, it's not easy. Yeah, I'll cut this guy up and... We'll head off. Head back to camp, sit around the fire. And I'll think about what, what I'm going to make with these goats. Hey guys, so obviously I'm back home now. Um, that Billy that we got with the recurve turned out he didn't have any stink on him at all. So I decided I'm going to take him home for myself and 
Today I'm going to make a curry with him. The plan was to make a goat vindaloo, but the shop had every other curry paste except for that one, so I'm going to make a tikka masala goat curry. I'll show you what ingredients we have. So we've got the back leg off the young billy. You need some, some Greek yogurt, a piece of ginger, you need a few cloves of garlic, four onions, four brown onions, diced tomatoes, pure ghee, and I've got the tikka masala paste. And then obviously having a curry, you need some naan. It's not a curry without it. But anyways, we're gonna make it in the we're gonna do it in the slow cooker today. So that should be done by dinner time. Seven, six or seven o'clock tonight it should be done. Anyways, I'm gonna I'll cut this goat up and I'll show you after. So I'll cut up that leg. Just cut it up into rough chunks. You don't have to be too fussy about trimming it up because it's going in a slow cooker. You could you can make anything tender. But left a fair bit on the bone. Give to the pooch out the back. He always likes that. It says to blend the onions, the garlic, and the ginger until it's a paste. Mix it all up and then put the goat in it. And then you got to leave that sit in the fridge for like four hours or overnight, whatever you decide. Looks pretty gross right now, but hopefully it turns out nice. This isn't my recipe. This is one I found on online. So anyways, we'll see how it goes. The goat's in the fridge, about ready to come out. Anyways, you need to put two tablespoons of this, this ghee into the fry pan. Okay, there's one. There's the other. All right, we've got half a cup of this tikka masala paste. We'll chuck that in there as well. Yeah, so we'll cook that for a minute or two till it all separates and then we'll add our goat and onion mixture in there mm, that smells really good yeah okay, see the oil's coming out of it now i'm gonna get the goat Put that in now i've got the goat in there looks so much better already than what it did in the, the onion paste anyways I'll cook this for about 10 minutes until or until the meat goes a little bit brown and then it will be straight into the um, slow cooker for all right so the curry is ready to go into the slow cooker it smells really good now We've got to put the crushed tomatoes in, or diced tomatoes. Just mix that all together. Sorry if it's too dark, I don't have very good lights in here. So that's all mixed together. Looks good. Get it on. And that's on low. Leave that on low for yeah, about seven to eight hours. That's going to stay on for. and be ready for dinner. I'll see is when it's, it's ready. It's been about seven and a half hours. Looks pretty nice. It smells really good. I've just got a bit of basmati rice in here. Bit of naan there. I'll go sit down. Oh, here he goes. That's really nice actually. I like that. Lucky I got a few days worth of it in the <laughs> in the slow cooker. I'll get a bit of naan. Nice bit of goat in there. <clears throat> oh, that's my first time trying to do a curry in the slow cooker anyways, and it turned out really good. Anyways, so <clears throat> that's the end of this one, and hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week for, I don't know, don't know what's up next week, we'll see what happens. Alright, see you later.